Hello friends, myself Dr. Anurag Tiwari and today I will be demonstrating the, through this video the harvest of peroneus longus graft. The peroneus longus tendon can be used for the ligament reconstruction in the knee for ACL, PCL or for the tendo Achilles repair with augmentation of peroneus longus. So the patient lies supine, the incision is given just posterior to the lateral malleolus. There are two tendons, the peroneus longus and brevis, which lies just posterior to the lateral malleolus. So an incision of around 2 to 3 cm is being given. After incising the skin, you have to dissect through the superficial dissection through this subcutaneous tissue. And then a white color structure you will be able to see. Be careful here, don't injure the short saphenous vein. So when you see this white color structure, just dissect with the help of scissor or you can easily use the knife. So this is peroneal retinaculum. So when you cut this peroneal retinaculum, you will be able to see the tendons just under this retinaculum just underneath this retinaculum so once this retinaculum is being incised use a hemostat that is artery forceps and use it to deliver the two tendons out of the wound so there are two tendons in this artery forceps one is the peroneus longus, the other is peroneus brevis. To identify the peroneus longus tendon, the best way is the peroneus longus is the superficial to peroneus brevis. And the second thing is peroneus longus do not have any muscle attachment at this point, at this site. Whereas the peroneus brevis, as you can see the deeper tendon, is associated with the muscular tissue. So peroneus brevis is muscular, whereas peroneus longus is a muscular in this point. The next step is to evert the foot and you tie the both the tendons together with the help of vicryl suture. So any absorbable suture you can use and you tie these two tendons uh, at the distal end of the wound. So at the distal side you will be tying these two tendons together so this will have a tenodesis effect so that when you harvest, when you take out the peroneus longus tendon, the distal peroneus longus, the peroneus brevis will act as or will function. The Both the function will be done by the peroneus brevis tendon distally. So that the ankle function do not compromise. Once you tie both these tendons, then you take the fiber wire or ethibond suture. So any suture you can take, however I usually prefer the fiber wire because it is quite strong as compared to ethibond. So you take the fiber wire and pass it through this peroneus longus from one end and exit it through the middle of the tendon. Then you take multiple stitches or multiple bites to this tendon in a way from one end you insert the needle and take it out from the middle. In the same way you have to take at least two to three stitches in this way from one end and then pass this suture onto the other side. And as taken these stitches on this side, that is the posterior side, the same way you have to take on the anterior side. So just pass it through the middle of the tendon and take it out from the one end. And multiple, at least two to three stitches should be taken. And the last stitch, you just pass the needle through the middle of the tendon and take it out from the one of the end that is the distal end
once this procedure is done then you cut the tendon between the vicryl and the fiber wire suture so this distal end of the tendon that is the peroneus longus end the distal end is cut now this tendon is free from the distal side and then you take the tendon stripper so there are two types of tendon stripper one is the close end and the other is the open end so this is a close end tendon stripper as you can see it is close from all the sides circumferentially just pass this tendon through this tendon stripper with the one hand you have to pull the threads and with the other hand you have to push the tendon stripper just flex slightly the knee and take the leg on the edge of the table when you go through this the musculotendinous junction at the level of musculotendinous junction this tendon stripper will automatically cut the tendon now you have the tendon in your hand the next step is to close the wound the first step is to repair the peroneal retinaculum so this is very essential otherwise there will be bow stringing of the peroneus brevis tendon so you need to repair the peroneal retinaculum and then you will take two three bites in the in the sutures in the subcutaneous plane so use the vicryl suture or any absorbable suture of your choice to close the wound and for the skin you can take the nylon suture or any non absorbable monofilament suture for the skin closure or you can either use the skin stapler so once the graft once the tendon has been harvested the next step is to prepare the tendon for the preparation of acl ligament or as a acl graft so that video is the another video you can see in the list of my videos how to prepare the acl graft out of peroneus longus so this is the closure only two or three sutures maximum are there so this is the complete closure and then you do the dressing so this is the tendon which we have just harvested the preparation or the further preparation you can see in the another video thank you so much for watching the video